Fisher's Homestyle Salads in Lancaster County makes all kinds of foods, 40 different kinds in all. People around the, the local area here love the Pennsylvania Dutch food. And that includes some less well-known dishes. So that's why we came here, to see how they make cracker pudding. You don't want it too runny, you don't want it too thick, you want it just right. If you're not familiar, cracker pudding is a dessert made with, yes, crackers, saltines in this recipe, and a good dose of coconut. It's a Pennsylvania Dutch treat, most likely originally a creation of ingredients that were available around the house. A lot of the recipes come from the old farms and stuff where they simply use what they had on hand to make and that's how they come up with the recipes. Just kind of Lancaster County tradition. And it also happens to be a family favorite of mine. I like it because my grandmother made it. Is there any pressure for you to match my grandmother's uh, uh There's some pressure there, yeah. Yeah, we like to get it just, uh, that's what we like to hear. We like to hear people <laughs> say it's what their grandmother made. So to make cracker pudding, you start with a sugar and egg mixture that's added to scalded milk. After that cooks a bit, the ingredient that gives the dessert its name. Now we have our crackers that we've lightly crushed up. Don't want to get them too fine. Finely shredded coconut is then added, and that's it. It's cooled overnight and then finished with whipped topping. Once we have that covered over there, we just take a little bit of toasted coconut here. And that gives it just a little bit different flavor profile. And there we go. Looks That's great. our finished product right there. Fantastic. Now we get to try it. That sounds good to me. I like that. Mm. That's great. This is like my grandmother made. I mean, it really is. It's what we're it's going excellent. for. Yeah. And that's what, uh, that's what it's about, right? The yeah. Pennsylvania Dutch tradition? Oh, yeah. So am I allowed to eat this whole bowl? You can eat that whole bowl if you want. <laughs> yeah, I see no problem with that. <laughs> Did you eat the whole bowl? Oh, I ate that whole bowl, absolutely. And I brought more now, so so you you can okay. try it now for the you know, first time. You know, I like all the ingredients: Good. milk, sugar, coconut. And I should mention, crackers. saltines were used in that recipe. Some people use graham crackers. So mm. there you go. Actually, not bad. All right. It's a little like tapioca. Mm-hmm. It's thick. It's that really. Mm. It's not bad actually at all. I really do like the recipe, and it's interesting. I found out. Many variations. Some people don't use coconut at all, which would make it totally different. No, I like the coconut in that. So do I. I love it a mm. lot. And some people actually serve it hot as well. This is obviously like cool. I like it so cold. Yeah. I think I would too. I mean, that's this the way bad, I was Cher. used to it. All right. See, this there you go. Good. So I just to... like my grandmother used to make. Man, thank you yeah. for sharing. <laughs> right. I got to add this to my uh, recipe book.